Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Smita. Welcome to my channel. So Lion King is releasing this week and I wanted to transform myself into Simba. To create this look, I was inspired by the International Face Painting School. I'm going to insert a link to their channel in the description box below. They're amazing artists, so go check them out. And now without further ado, let's get started. I like to always start with a clean canvas that includes concealing my brow hair because they're so thick. So I'm going to first start by brushing my brow hair upwards with a spoolie brush and then I'm using some non-toxic glue stick just to keep my brow hair in place and that'll also help to flatten my brows. I'm going to set this with some loose powder. I'm using Master Fix from Maybelline because it's so finely sifted so working with it is very easy and then I'm going to finish off with some concealer which is my skin tone. I'm using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in Golden and that'll help to conceal my brows. I'm going to set this one more time with some loose powder before I start the makeup process and as you can see my brows are not completely concealed you can still see my brows which is okay for this particular look because it's a lion and lion has hair on the face and I'll be using darker colors the palette that I'll be using is the Paradise Makeup from Meron. If you're considering face painting, I would highly recommend this palette. I'm going to first map out the muscle area and once we have that background set, we can go into the finer details. With a blending sponge, I'm first taking white. I'm going to use it in areas where I want to highlight and bring those features forward. Whenever I recreate a look, I always have that picture in front of me, usually on my phone, because you have to go back and look at the picture multiple times to get all the details together. Next, I'm using the shade called Mango and as I'm applying these colors, I'm also blending out the edges quickly so they diffuse and seamlessly blend into the other colors. I'm using a darker brown shade to contour my face in areas where Simba's face is contoured. While we're doing this, I hope you'll take a moment to subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every Tuesdays and Thursdays. Now that we've mapped out the muscle area, I'm going to start working on the finer details. I'm mostly going to be using artist brushes today and I bought this from a store called Michaels, which is a craft store here in the US. You can use makeup brushes too. I'm going to switch between makeup and artist brushes. Uh, for the finer details, I'm going to be using a fine tip brush and uh, this one is a painting brush. I'm going to be using a combination of black, white and brown to carve out the features. Again, those are the colors mostly in Simba. Again, in areas where I want to highlight or bring the features forward, I'm going to be using whites and lighter colors. And in areas where I want to push back or contour, I'm going to be using darker shades. The tip of a lion's nose is pink so I'm going to be using this pink shade for it and then for the detailing around it I'm going to be using black. For the eyes, I'm literally doing a cat eye this time. With some black, I'm going to carve out the shape of the eyes and then I'm also going to work on the iris as well as the pupil. I feel like eyes are the most important feature while recreating any look because they pull the look together. So if you've gotten the eyes right, you're almost there. I'm going to shade inside the iris with some black and white to make it look more realistic. And then I'm going to keep two white dots inside the pupil to get those twinkling eyes.
Next, I'm adding more details around the mouth. To bring the mouth part itself forward, I'm going to be contouring on the sides of the mouth. And I'm going to finish up with some whiskers. I'm using black and white around the mouth area as well as my brows. With my hair, I first teased it to add more volume. And then I used a combination of gold and yellow to add the highlights. And here's the completed look. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you enjoyed watching this video. And comment below and let me know if you want to watch more looks like these. And also comment below and let me know if you plan to go watch Lion King. I love you guys so much and I will see you soon with a brand new video. Bye guys.